everyone welcome back my name is Lydia if you're new welcome to my channel you beautiful thing today's video guys we're gonna talk and do review on foundation Catrice true skin hydrating foundation I'm gonna talk about it a little bit and I will tell you what kind of skin I have we're gonna do foundation application and in the end and I will come back after wearing some time and I will give you my thoughts about it and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video this foundation coming in 20 shades is available in drugstores in UK unfortunately is available only online I've got myself this while I was on holiday in Poland and I got myself 020 warm beige glass bottle is it glass yes glass bottle with pump nice very easy to use and this foundation it's true skin but better what it says on the bottle hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish i'm not really keen on matte finish but we will see how this is gonna work and is supposed to is a medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling we will see you support this is supposed to be long wear and you can build up at this you know the the coverage which you desire it's vegan cruelty free paraben free al free <laughs> alcohol alcohol oh my god i cannot speak alcohol free and it's good 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 claims and we'll see how it's gonna work and i tell you a little bit about my skin my skin it's 47 years old yes and it's combination with oily t-zone quite oily i put some uh, skin care on my face about one hour ago and it's already quite oily if you can see i'm quite have a nice dewy dewy finish on my skin and i have a little bit of redness i have a redness on my chin and my nose and around my hair i've got like some capillaries which are visible on my face and i'm gonna apply murat um invisible perfecting shield broad spectrum spf 30 and it's silicone silicone base and i will apply this on my right side i'm gonna use like oh, oopsie <laughs> like a that much because i have a kind of visible pores on my face and we'll see how this is gonna work i apply on my lips i've got myself in poland also um when i was shopping like a lip maximizer would you think my lips are better and bigger i don't know <laughs> it looks slightly bigger well you have to add this little bit around but if i got this one is from Polish super drug its equivalent is from Eveline I did some Polish whole like products which I bought myself in Poland and one of them was this and I really really like it it's quite tingly but I think give you nice slightly bigger lips I don't know maybe I'm just you know won't this happen because my top lip is very small yeah this is the primer side and this is without primer it's quite this is more dewy than this one you can apply this foundation with a brush uh, or with a sponge and i'm gonna apply one pump one pump i need to shake i always like to shake my liquid foundations <laughs> and i'm gonna add one pump and it's you can see it's very liquidy i like this kind of foundations and i'm gonna apply let's start applying on this side just a little bit and we see gonna be gonna be one pump and I apply with my fingers I'll make a little bit work more my primer on the side mm, looks very very light <laughs> looks very very light and look kind of yellow it's warm beige <laughs> and it is a beigey color yeah it is very very yellow right this is quite a lot and it's I use only tiny bit of it not even half it's covering crazy like very high coverage I'm gonna apply I'm gonna dab this because it looks so much of it I'm gonna dab with my my real technique sponge it's already dumped I will I always do that with my foundation this is my recent kind of uh, discovery I spray a little bit with my all-nighter um, makeup setting spray and I'll spray a little bit and make sure it's not too wet and I'm gonna dab it I'm gonna look in my small mirror 
I'm gonna dab around my face. It's quite nice actually color. Well, I'm not really a person who like full coverage on the face. Oh wow, this is, looks so beautiful there. Ooh, stunning. So far, I love it. <laughs> and beautiful my god it's like even out even out my skin tone i don't know what you think but even out my skin tone beautifully right my when i dubbed it removed kind of foundation from my i got like a little old spot mark in here but will disappear but not yet and a little bit more i'm gonna put that much because i put so much i'm gonna still leave that much is quite a lot on my hand and I will try apply this with a brush and we'll see how this is gonna work and I apply with my favorite brush from It Cosmetics now look in the mirror far and this is the side with primer and we'll see how this is gonna work if not gonna work very well with brush I will dab it with my sponge to even out my skin applying with brush it's yeah you can apply with brush as well i think you can apply with brush what they're saying on the website Catrice website but i'm gonna smooth it out with the beauty blender or beauty sponge from real techniques so i'm gonna make sure it's all in your skin doesn't sit on your skin that's what i like to do it with special like high coverage foundations which i don't really use often another one which i have was liquid with like that which i really like is from l'oreal infallible let me add a little bit more because i think i removed slightly from here and my cheek this one is quite nice my nose and slightly around my nose which is redness and this this part of my chin this little part never like to be covered i don't know why let's add slightly more let's see if this cover this spot or mark it's not spot anymore that's it and it looks beautiful if i compare to my body look like my body i can see still through tiny tiny bit of slightly my skin but it's it's definitely very good coverage it's a very very good coverage be honest with you it looks beautiful and we'll see during the day if it's not gonna kind of accumulate on my i've got my lines when i do this slightly here and the uh, very little lines here but still can accumulate let me clean my lips i don't like when it's foundation on it i'm gonna apply my makeup a little bit i'm gonna see how this is gonna take like a cream product i'm gonna put some cream blusher and some concealer and i will powder after i'm gonna do rest of my makeup speed you up probably a little bit i'm gonna use this cream blusher because i want to see how this is gonna work on the top of this foundation if it's gonna move the foundation but it doesn't at the moment and this is the primer side oh but a lot it doesn't move any foundation nothing lovely i'm gonna use now my always favorite for foundations it cosmetics a powder which is by by pores loose powder which i always use well 95 percent i use this powder i'm gonna use slightly over my nose and my t-zone because i never powder under my eyes outside of my face i will not powder as well let's have a little bit of bronzer my nose i love this bronzer so much and have a little bit of bronze my face i think this foundation slightly oxidized because it look tiny tiny bit darker than i just put it on i think because it looks slightly darker let me do that this one because otherwise i'm gonna look 
weird let me bronze my ears to even out my own complexion because it's nothing worse than you have full coverage foundation and different hat <laughs> to different body <laughs> it's not very good I keep staring in the mirror over there and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful love it have a little bit of lighter color and just brighten up my eyes and that's it and mascara and with that set ready to go this is how this makeup look like at the moment and it's around 11 o'clock and I will be back in few hours time and we'll see how this is gonna work so far I absolutely love it and I have mentioned I think oxidized tiny tiny not much just a little bit and it looks beautiful doesn't sit on any lines no 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 beautiful all products go very nice and smooth on the top of it I will wear this for some time guys now and I will be back in a couple of hours to update you how this is gonna work and I will give you my final thoughts about on this foundation which like I mentioned I'm not very keen on like a super um, full coverage foundations because I always like to see my skin I like to see the you know redness a little bit of my not necessarily nose <laughs> but like cheeks for example and but so far when I look this mirror over there looks absolutely stunning it's quite matte be honest with you well my i don't know why my always around my cheeks i kind of i'm kind of i don't know maybe the skincare i'm wearing but i always have a little bit of kind of sheen in it if you can see slightly shiny and i didn't put any highlighter nothing i don't want to put any highlighter because i want to see how this is gonna work and if there's gonna be any kind of lots of shininess well which is this is my problematic area and we'll see at the moment look very very matte when i look at myself far away and look matte well a powder mind you i powder with this with oh <sighs> not broken <laughs> I powder with my It Cosmetics uh, Bye Bye Pores and yet yeah, my pores are not visible so far at all and I will see you in a second. Okay, and this is how my face look like guys after around 7 hours and I'm not gonna do longer tests because they going down and the lighting gonna be not great because I'm filming with natural light from the window and let's have a look i was wearing glasses today all day and i'm having a little bit of foundation worn out around my nose when the glasses were on and in here and the rest look beautiful i look shiny i get shiny slightly on my forehead around two and a half three hours you can see the shine primer i was wearing on that side and this wall without primer and face look exactly the same and if I look properly I think this look more shiny <laughs> I'm not sure I think so and all products stays my blusher stays my well I didn't put much bronzer be honest with you if you saw me and oxidize slightly oxidize guys my face I think look darker at the moment than the moment I put it on and but overall look beautiful doesn't accumulate on the fine lines nothing literally nothing my chin my chin this part never holds anything I think <laughs> and rest look beautiful a bit shiny I look like I have a highlighter but I don't <laughs> this is my skincare and the blush which i put wasn't shiny at all and this is the primer side and i think what do you think is the primer side look different to you compared to no primer side because for me look the same i'm just looking in the mirror over here slightly worn off around my nose because i blow my nose a little bit i always have an issue with it 
and rest look beautiful yes i don't like in here be honest with you it's i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see looks a little bit like accumulates not bad because it's under my lip but i see and it's like kind of break it with my like a i can see now with this foundation i have a wrinkle in here <laughs> which is here let me try to bloat it my face slightly i'm gonna use my bloating papers okay shine control tissues let me see if i can bloat oh lots of lots and lots and we'll see how this is gonna work yeah lots of oils coming through is the foundation gone yeah, my cheeks look more red now i think on my nose on the primer side it's a little bit holding better slightly but not much different to be honest with you yes overall guys overall i like this foundation i do like this foundation and i will wear it but i will add a little bit less of it and i might it doesn't doesn't do dry it's not drying on the face at all on my face i don't know how this foundation gonna be on the dry skin like i mentioned my skin is combination with oiliness and oiliness coming through if i look now i look so beautiful <laughs> sorry on the foundation <laughs> and it's stunning i love it but i'm gonna wear next time slightly less of it and i will dab it with my sponge and i think gonna look beautiful just to it's it's very good coverage it's very good coverage well this is covered my it's like a under the spot doesn't have the much there but i never cover with everything with my foundation even this full coverage foundation i always do like spot concealing if i really want to cover i always think like my skin look better when you can see through slightly look more natural but this foundation look lovely except this part this part i don't really like it i would put a little bit less foundation on this side overall i like it very much this beauty i'm gonna use it and i like it and for six seven pounds or eleven dollars or five pounds it's worth it i think and i really like it a lot that was my final thoughts guys thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i see you in my next one bye